for me, I was born with the gift of strength. Okay. So I took that gift and over my entire life, have broken down my nervous system and rebuilt it and built the muscle and the food and everything for so many years. This is called a reverse hyperextension. It's the best lower back machine in the world. Another west side piece. And basically, feet are together. You're locking your hamstrings, your glutes, and your lower back together as one. Four. Five. Come on. Five more. Beautiful. Slow it down. I rarely, rarely get them. But I have one today. Just gonna poke them right now. There's a squat. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, look at how big that left blue is. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Development. Yeah, it's overdeveloped. That's a, that's a strong side. The right power lifting side, left the body lifting side. Your leg hair is starting to match your forearm. <laughs> it doesn't make me feel better. I mean, you're symmetrical, is what I'm saying. Seriously, in this position right here, I'm gonna take a picture of it so you can see. So look, if you look at the picture closely, his legs and his forearms, they match, so he looks like uniform. He's like a superhero. What was the blue guy on X-Men? Oh, <laughs> beast. Beast. Was it beast? Beast, yeah. Beast, yeah. Beast, yeah. <laughs> Bro, he was a very successful. I don't know, bro. That's even fucking. That's a little. Yeah, it is. It's crazy. It is, but give it time. It'll grow in. You're getting older. You know. You're how old now? Forty-three. Forty-four. You're forty-four. I used to look just like you at forty-four. Now I'm 133 pounds. It just looks like 300 pounds because of the fur. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the strongest person I've ever seen work out. I've really? never, I've never seen anybody put the pin all the way to the top on like every exercise. Oh, really? It's crazy. But it's not just about the weight, because I don't care about the weight. Okay. I care about what you do with it. Okay. Placement is everything. So, as far as building strength, how did you build? Like, how did you go from okay, 50 to like? Fucking 800, you know what I mean? Like, how do you First of all, it's a gift. Okay. You're either born with it or you're not. Okay. Like Sean Roden, Mr. Olympia. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying we don't work our asses off, but he has a gift. Okay. I mean, he's just, you know, the most symmetrical, 
like beautiful thing that you could do for bodybuilding, you know? For me, I was born with the gift of strength. Okay. So I took that gift and over my entire life, have broken down my nervous system and rebuilt it and built the muscle and the food and everything for so many years. And then when you do the technique <clears throat> combined with it, okay. that's where you get the result. Yes. Okay. But everybody that's anybody did not just come out of the womb with no gift and say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna be the best bodybuilder in the world when there's no way they could build like that. Okay. So you either can or you can't. Right. You know. Gotcha. Okay. Like Mike, Mike's really athletic. Mike's a world champion fighter. So, you know, coming into another sport, he's built with already the gift. He's got those short limbs and he's he's not real tall and he's he's getting thick now, you know what I mean? Okay. But he had the mindset coming in to make that change, which is also a gift. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, like you, for example. Yeah. Like you're a smaller guy. So if I told you, hey, bro, move here, 5'7", 130 pounds. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to... Crazy. Baby. I'm going to make you 260. Yeah. There's no way in God's green earth right. that I'm going to ever get you to 260 pounds. It's just not possible. Gotcha. You know what well, I mean? What would you think someone like me would max out at? Um, Strength-wise or size-wise? Size I mean, you could put 50 pounds on over right. over years and years. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Gotcha. But that's still not going to make you 260. Right. It's going to make you 180 or whatever. So you just, you know... But then again, I could never be a jockey for horses. Yeah. You can't you cut could. down that far. Yeah. Okay. You could. Okay. Like I used to race Grand Prix motorcycles, right? Okay. I knew damn well I wasn't going to be the gnarliest dude because mm -hmm. I was 280 pounds out there on a beast of a motorcycle, <laughs> but there's a fucking 130 pound guy on the same fucking bike. Right. I can't beat that. Right. Maybe in corners and. You know, maybe I'm a better rider, but overall, that bike's got less load to carry. Right. There's talent, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, each sport has its own little thing, you know what I mean? Okay. Oh. That makes sense. Huh? Should try it. I mean, how do you feel? I feel good. All right. Well, you'll know in about three seconds whether you should try it or not. Squeeze. No, 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 that's me. M. Full stack mic. <laughs> okay, cool. There we go. Two more, bring it a little bit lower. That's good. One more. And beautiful. That was nice. Fuck yeah, bro. That was real good. All right, multi hip. We're moving on. The journey of building strength versus technique of fighting. How how has it been kind of making that switch? Oh fuck! It's the same shit. Yeah. It's the same thing. I mean, it's just a matter of getting your head around what you're supposed to do, okay. and doing it enough times to where it becomes a habit. Okay. But you know. <laughs> well, any kind of athletics is it's more mental than physical once you can get your head wrapped around it yeah. your body will go through it right. so the hardest part is getting your head wrapped around and, and pulling all these things together because at first everything's out here and you're trying to think about all this stuff and you forget this one you, you remember that one it just shits all over the place but as soon as your head gets wrapped around it, your body can react. And that's the key of any sport is to be able to react, not to think about every fucking thing because then you get lost. So just building it enough to it becomes a habit and there's 
no more thinking. Now you just get under there and you react. It's the same when you go in the ring. You can't think. You don't have time to think. You have to be programmed enough to when that punch comes at you, you just start picking counters back or, or you start attacking, whatever it is. Gotcha. So it's all here. It's all mental. It's all, all sports and mental. And, and it's also having trust in your team because that's everything. Okay. You know, he relies when he's fighting on every one of those guys on the outside to do their job so he only has to do one thing, you know? Fair. Okay. Well, how's it, how's it been taking him through the journey of... Huh? How's it been taking him through the journey of his... To be honest with you, Mike was, is easier because he's already been at the top of something before. So his mentality is somewhat different, a lot different than that of a normal human being. You know what I mean? Okay. Like I can tell him, dude, do this. You can do this. Yeah. And he'll listen. Other people... They'll tell you okay. You all right? They'll tell you okay and they, they won't listen. Okay. So. Gotcha. Well, it's kind of like brainwashing. Okay. That you like a cult. That you have to do. Well, all athletes are the best. Okay. It's like you have to be brainwashed, trained yeah. into whatever it is you need to be. Mm. You know, it's kind of like a cult. Like they just, you know, they either tie them up or seclude them in a room or you know just break them mentally down right. until they uh, you know can can do what they need to be what needs to be done you know what I mean gotcha. the only thing is with an athlete you do it in a positive way <laughs> you know what I mean okay. but it basically is the same thing you take a person somebody. that has one thought process into thinking that they can do anything in the world okay. that there's a breakdown process. We don't realize that it's being broken down, mm -hmm. but that's what it is. Your brain breaks down the old habits mm -hmm. and instills the new ones. Right. You know what I mean? So. Okay. So I went to my doctor last Friday. Yeah. And I got a shot in my ass. And, uh,. I forget what it was he gave me, but when I was a kid, I couldn't lift my arm up for like a week. So I was like, look, can you just put it in my ass? Because I remember, uh, was it tetanus? I don't know, whatever the fuck he gave me the other day. Dude, I can't like move my left ass cheek. I'm like dying right now. Which I'm glad I had him do it in my ass with my arm, but it is what it is. So that's why I'm sort of oh, dying. <laughs> A lot of exercises, mostly all exercises, people just think about doing it and getting it done. Like for example here, Mike's pushing from his ass and his hamstring. He's not just throwing it down from his knee. So we're isolating the muscle, getting the most out of each area that we can. So instead of him throwing it from his knee, I want him to come from the area, the quad, because that's what we're working on the leg extension. did a kind of hip core workout with him yesterday because he's got a little thing I need him to bench tonight. So one of the machines is 
fucking brutal, but it's hamstring, you know? And, uh, of course, I subjected him to that. And he's, you know, a little upset about it, you know? Gotcha. Mike, I just want to let you know if you want to talk about it anymore, I'll be here for you. I'm a good coach. <laughs> because I care how my people feel emotionally. Because that's what's going to get them to their world championship. What up, brother? Five more. Let's say legs, right? You got legs. Legs has all these different parts. Are you working each part to failure to... Depends on what we're doing. Okay. You know. As far as goal of the exercise. Goal orientation will decide what I'm going to do. Okay. He's already beat down, so this is just cool down for him. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, one more 20 and you're out. 